the, the, the opening to the season in a few weeks we'll have the PNG championships and that's where they'll really want to do all of their difficulty. Quickly over to somebody we handicapped as maybe one of the all-around favorites today, Abby Paulson out of Coon Rapids, Minnesota, and Twin City Twisters Gymnastics. Solid start for Abby. She's from the same judge as Maggie Nichols, who devastatingly had an injury in the Olympic year, was one of the stars in 2015, the Worlds before it. Did not heal enough to get it done for Rio, but. Cleaning up some scores, Abby Walker, first rotation, actually a 12.9. Abby Paulson on floor, 13.25, and you can see Miley O'Keefe's bar routine, a 13.75 with that, with that air. Chip on the sidelines at a high level, good to see that. As our leader, Alonia Shenikova, gets ready to go on the always daunting balance beam. You're really not the leader until you've done beam, I feel like, that's the real test. Well, especially when you're in the lead, <laughs> and I don't know if she knows that or not, but. Yeah. Yeah, that's always a little added pressure. Another one of those wolf turns. Three times around, you're not allowed anymore to do it with an extra half turn. You used to be able to do a two and a half. It has to be Full revolution, two or three. A little off on that, but beautiful combination. Really has to kind of grit that around that second layout, though. Nice. It's called a Nanoni, named after a tremendous Hungarian gymnast. From around the time your dad was competing, Nastia. Well, she sure does have a lot of skills in this routine. One thing after another. This mount. And that is disappointing without question. Oh. So the pressure of being in first place may have crept up on her. We'll have to keep an eye on Deanne Souza, who's in second place, see if she can close that gap. Dad Alex there trying to comfort her. But so here we go. Once again, Wolf turns. She'll go three times around. Nicely done. Lots of bonus points here, so she adds one going twice around. We see a lot of gymnasts doing that, but to me that looks really, really hard. And this is also really hard. Three skills in a row. You saw her standing foot was a little bit off, but she saved it. But the dismount, you know, she's not 
known as being a power gymnast, and she really doesn't get a great bounce, really tucks so hard. And once again, you see those hips. If you are flipping backwards and your hips are behind your heels, that is inevitable right there. You're gonna sit down a full point off. So the judges will be sharpening their pencils on Alonia's beam routine, unfortunately. But we're gonna go quickly over to uneven bars. We saw Abby Paulson on floor exercise, the first rotation. Now we're gonna see our uneven bars. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little personal here because she goes to my old gym, Twin City Twisters, and her dad was actually teammates with me on the 1996 Olympic team, but he was a wrestler. He won a silver medal. He's in the blue right there. Brandon Paulson. I'll tell you what, she's got good genes for being, being one tough character and absolutely they are workers. I remember watching him wrestle in that gold medal match of sitting in the Olympic Village and turn the TV on. I'm like, there's a Minnesota kid <laughs> going for gold. It was a lot of fun. And they are here today. Currently, as it says, fifth there. Yep. I think it actually might be sixth, though. Yep. There's a lot of moving parts here. People doing all around, not doing all around. No, that's actually correct because I had Riley McCusker ahead of her, and she is done at this point, will not do her fourth event, the vault. Beautiful release move so far. Dismount double front. Over rotated that, held on to her knees a little too long, but better that way than under rotating. So Abby Paulson finishes her third rotation. Shanikova, meanwhile, a very disappointing, a 12.85 for the leader. Riley McCusker, meanwhile, on the floor exercise. And there she is right there on the left, and she scored a 13.3. So a little bit better, but they did hit her almost two points in deductions for Riley, and, and you guys mentioned it, a lot of those little things that I'm sure she will uh, be cleaning up as she gets ready for the pinch. One of the last gymnasts who has a chance to catch her is Abby Paulson from Twin City Twisters. She is a little over two points behind, which on balance game, it's, uh, that's, a tough, that's a tough row to hoe. Fifth place after the third rotation, but again, hasn't had a, a, a great knock your socks off type of night, but she's been solid, she's been consistent, and if she can just clean up a few of those little things along the way, it certainly could make a, make a jump at the national championships. And there it is, the Sosa, 11.95, so the all-around championship certainly not to be, but uh, nonetheless a good day for her. You know, Twin City Twisters, the gym that she comes out of, used to always be known as being an outstanding junior up to level 10 gym. One of the best in the country, really, as, as, there, as we see Brandon Paulson, Olympic silver medalist. But now in the last couple of years with Maggie Nichols and now Abby Paulson, they've started to make that stride into the elite ranks and, and have done quite well. It's almost compulsory now to do that element on the balance beam. She needs a huge 15.35 to overtake Alonia, which is not possible. Great combination. Very difficult. And you know, what's probably even more important for her then to beat that score, take this title, is to finish this competition, especially on the balance beam, with a clean routine. That'll give her a lot of confidence going into the national championships.
the dismount right here. Two and a half twist. Another, another solid routine, but certainly not gonna challenge for that top spot. And we obviously have to wait for that score, but it's, uh, it's all Alonia Shanikova's meet today. And certainly something she can build on, Nasty, as she heads towards the end of the summer. Oh, absolutely. You know, again, it's not really about winning the U.S. Classic, but it is going to give you a little bit of a confidence boost going into the national championships, knowing that you can be on top of the leaderboard. And, you know, sometimes we get so focused on world championships and Olympic games, but for this young lady, if she continues to have the meets like she's been having at the PNG Championships, she'll make the national team. She'll have the opportunity to travel all over the world to compete for the United States of America, which is a pretty cool thing. Got a smile out of her. She's been smiling a lot this last rotation. <laughs> I'm sure she knows at this point, without question. I know it didn't matter what the meet was when I was a gymnast. It could be an inner squad against the national team in their own gym, but if you come out on top, you're, you're pretty happy about it. And Abby Paulson there with her coach, Sarah Jancy. Waiting for the score. Abby Paulson finished ninth all around at the Secret Classic last year. And so she will move up most likely in the ranking. Really, if she wants to make her way into that top grouping, has to do a little bit more difficulty virtually across the board. If she can pull that off, certainly we'd be much more competitive. Abby Paulson score a 13.5. So not gonna close that gap, but nonetheless, a great night for Abby Paulson. Sarah Jancy, her coach, should be happy. And that young lady certainly is happy. Alonia Shanikova, she is your 2017 US Classic all-around champion. We will wrap it up when we come back. So Alonia Shanikova, she gets it done, 54.95, a comfortable victory over Abby Paulson, but a nice day for Abby Paulson, moves up into that second spot. And not just these seniors, but we have seen a lot of outstanding juniors in tonight's competition. This Team USA Women's Gymnastics is gonna be another tough one to beat as they head into 2017 and towards the 2020 Olympic Games. But don't forget, in less than three weeks, we'll have the 2017 PNG National Gymnastics Championships men's and women's competition on all the NBC networks, the Olympic Channel, NBC Sports, and of course, NBC. So congratulations again to Alona Shenikova on your all-around title. For Tim Daggett, Nastia Lukin, and everyone on the outstanding Olympic Channel production team, I am John Roethlisberger. So long from Hoffman Estates, Illinois, and the 2017 U.S. Classic. So long, everyone.